Ask Reddit by ZDVJ. What's a modern day poison people willingly ingest? Personally I'm horrendously addicted to nicotine and it's probably killing me. It took me a solid month to quit. Switched to 4mg gum for 2 weeks, then 2mg for the next 2. I hate the gum so it slowly became less and less because I just couldn't be bothered as often, until I just stopped altogether. It's a pretty strange feeling as I have been using nicotine daily, hourly probably, for 11 years. Feel more calm in a way. Really miss it for certain occasions though. After the gym and after sex I miss that little extra reward. Those talking videos with like 3 things happening on the screen simultaneously. Social media is already absolutely atrocious for attention span. Using that many distractions on a 30s clip just exponentially enhances that problem. Edit. For people that wanted an example, in case any check back in. Here's a parody on that trend being used in this video https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark d6 tieuiufc I don't subscribe to anybody that does that sort of shit, but the first time I saw a video that was meant to be informative, with Minecraft Parker in the background on the top half, and funny cat memes on the bottom half, I realized we've reached internet super saturation. We can't go any lower. We've reached internet rock bottom, I hope. Edit, I forgot people will see this as a challenge. We are doomed apparently. Facebook. Edit, Facebook, Instagram, etc. Any social media where you're comparing your life against other people's lives. People need to learn to treat social media like a photoshopped image. It may look real but, it may not be. Those shorts videos that now are almost in every platform. If you have problems with focus and getting shit done then you know that if you keep watching them you might end up in the next day without even realizing you haven't done anything yet. One creator I watch on YouTube has basically said I have to resort to making these shorts or I'll disappear as the creator. It's crappy that these platforms are forcing it on everyone involved. 24 hour news cycle My grandparents All day every day It pains me to see Outrage It's straight up poison to your mental health But we thrive on it, yearn for it Places like TikTok, Twitter, and our public freakout pass it out like dealers for little more than some attention poisoning people to feel popular Worse, it's useful to those in control, so there's no escaping it Political parties and activists need you outraged, one tracked, immune to real empathy, and motivated to solidify their power, so here we are. I avoided scrolling through Reddit's popular feed for years because it was so full of outrage subs like our public freakout, our trashy, our idiots in cars, our I'm at it'll PC off shit etc. I don't want that negativity in my feed. Once they added support for blacklisting subs I immediately added those. I'm gonna say vaping. I knocked it on the head as my new year's resolution. First time I've been completely nicotine free, and still going strong. But I genuinely felt like I was about to cough my lungs up about 90% of the time vaping. If I have to be honest, I don't miss either, but I started vaping to stop smoking. I hate seeing young kids and teens do it ones who wouldn't have even considered smoking. Edit, I'm talking disposable vapes, should have clarified that beforehand. I truly lucked out. When I got pregnant, I had to stop vaping for obvious reasons but my nausea was so bad, I couldn't even be in the same room as vape juice without vomiting. Huge aversions. After I had my baby, I wanted that nicotine again. But thankfully my aversions are still going strong. Been 3 years vape free. This shit. My mood, general happiness, attitude, and motivation are inversely proportional to the amount of time I spend on reddit. Yet here I am. I have a book to work on. I have things to clean. I have an army to paint. 
Instead of doing those things, I'm watching people complain about how frustrating traffic is in cities, skylines, a game I do not play. This shit is worse than drugs. Social media. Deplatforming myself off of most social media has given me a huge change in mood for the better. I'm pretty sure with the amount of vitriol that gets thrown around in social media, I would have gone mental after a while. I'm glad that I have given myself more opportunities to live in the moment of my life rather than deal with others judging me for superficial and wasteful reasons. Edit, added context. Energy drinks. I ordered food from McDonald's and the cashier was like that monster isn't good for your heart. Oh is it not? Am I not making healthy choices? Work 5-6 days a week and having no life. The commuting. I knew a guy who moved from the city to the suburbs so he could enjoy lounging around his house and playing the backyard instead of being in an apartment. He spends more than an hour commuting each way, meaning he gets home, does a few chores, watches a show or plays a game and goes to bed because he has to wake up early. He actually has less leisure time to enjoy life. Processed sugars. Cutting sugar back makes me feel so much better. I've been in decent shape for most of my life. I got into running a lot last year and felt pretty good. When fall hit and the times changed, I slowed down my running. Then I had my first kid in late fall and basically stopped running altogether. Lots of quick meals mixed with holiday food and sodas and sweets to keep me moving. I didn't want to think about being hungry with a kid to manage, so I just munched on quick stuff that usually had lots of sugar in it. I've cut that all back over the last few weeks and feel a lot better. The best part is not feeling bloated. I could almost feel my gut growing during that period. Not fun. Extremely harsh and self-hating words. My therapist says self-compassion is the hardest thing to practice. I agree. Sips coffee, takes bong hit, doom scrolls reddit. Fuck, I can't think of any. Edit, my favorite thing about this is the legions of people defending coffee and weed and literally nobody defending reddit. Me ironically reading this as I hit my vape 15 minutes into waking up. Alcohol. When you quit drinking you start to really notice how much advertising there is for it everywhere. Billboards, TV ads, stickers, banners, during sporting events, commercials, and every 5 minutes in any drama or comedy on TV. Watching how I met your mother or mad men and taking a sip every time someone on the show does and you'll be in a coma in no time. So many shows have a one-on-one -on -one where someone walks over to their liquor cart in their office and pours whiskey. It's everywhere. Social media. Negativity. No, not being angry or sad for legit reasons, but just choosing to look at everything in a negative light. This is coming from an optimist so take this with a grain of salt. Outrage addiction is real. Why is the top aunt's not alcohol which is everywhere and literally poison? Edit, should say toxin but given enough that's poisoning. Alcohol and nicotine. Weed today is ridiculously strong compared to the weed of my parents generation. I know too many people my age who smoke it constantly don't understand what it'll do to a developing brain. In my 30s and when I was in college we were smoking what by today's standards were basically hedge clippings. I remember hearing rumors about stuff in California that was pushing 20% THC content. Now the smokers I know don't buy anything below 30%. It's nuts. Microplastics. Wouldn't call it willingly. Even if you wanted to go out of your way to avoid them, is almost impossible. Brett Michaels Don't threaten me with a good time Vape Yes, but it's helped me kick a 30 year smoking habit Haven't had a cig since November I'm down to the 3mg juice And I just picked up some 0mg 
getting ready to be nick free for the first time since I was a teenager. I'm not saying they're not unhealthy, but it's helped me kick a deadly habit. Propaganda on Reddit. The entire front page is constantly structured to steer narratives and you'll even see some posts in multiple subreddits to ensure it reaches as many people as possible. I stopped going to the front page. It's seriously toxic. I stick to home and follow subs that I want to follow. An excess of almost anything, overly, processed. Most people consume too much meat, too much sugar, too much salt, too much saturated fat, too much caffeine, too many nitrates nitrites, etc etc. I try to eat relatively healthy but even I definitely consume too much sugar and too much caffeine. It's so hard to stop once you're used to it. Modern processed foods are pretty addictive and it's scary. Edit, I'm aware that not all types of processing are inherently bad. This is not a scientific forum, it's an Ask Reddit thread and I'm sure most people know exactly which kind of processing I mean by that. I went through some dietary changes the last few years, and it is wild how much of a difference it makes. I cut back on junk food. I didn't cut out all junk food, just consumed it in much smaller quantities. Now things like carrots taste incredibly sweet to me. Back before all that, I thought it was just bullshit that health nuts made up to convince themselves they were happy, but now I get it. Idolizing celebrities. I don't know about legal weed. But if you don't think that purple haze grown deep in the woods of Mendocino County isn't covered in ridiculous pesticides, then I got a bridge in Brooklyn for sale. Weed only because of how people view it. If you drink every day you're an alcoholic. But for some reason people don't think it's an issue to use weed every day most days. It is a huge issue, and this is coming from someone who smokes daily trying my best to stop, but for some reason I just can't after a long day of work. I know it's me, but I just don't know how to stop. Everything is poisonous, it's just a matter of dosage. I'll drink 2 gallons of water to that. Hatred. Always consume hatred in moderation.